What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Chopper, bringing you my favorite bet of the day, Thursday, April 20th, in the sports world. Playoffs are rolled on from the NHL to the NBA. Baseball is not in the playoffs, but there are a ton of games. We've looked at the board, picked out a game, put a bet on the table, on the card, and that's what we're here to do. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome to Odd Chopper. All things betting, free content, live shows, VODs, everything you want. If you like what you see, maybe you're making some money. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, be part of the community, leave a comment. We want all the interaction. We want to build this community up. We are growing quickly, and it's because of you guys yesterday. Denver Nuggets, not a good third quarter, but we don't care about that. We care about the fourth quarter. We care about the result. Close, but we covered that number. Feels good. Get some momentum heading in today. So we cashed that ticket, and now we turn the page to Thursday. In addition to cashing that ticket, you also have the opportunity at Bet365 if you're in New Jersey, Colorado. Ohio or Virginia. I'll be talking about Colorado team in just a second. Bet one dollar, get two hundred in bonus bets. If you're a new user, you sign up, you deposit ten, and you claim the offer. It's that simple. The link is below. It takes a couple minutes. If you're fortunate enough to be in one of those four states, take advantage of that offer. You got to be twenty one plus. If you have a gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler. We are back to the ice. I've been bouncing around. We got the crack and we got the Avs. Just mentioned Colorado. I like them in this spot. And I'm fine with these 60-minute lines. I did this with Edmonton last night. And they held the lead for a change, barely, but they did. Uh, Avalanche, minus 135 to win in regulation. So let's get into these teams. Let's get into the spot. Let's talk about why this is where I'm putting my money. So Colorado Avalanche, the defending champs, 51-24-7, and 22-13-6 and six at home. I don't really care. You know, again, I'm not saying they were bored during the regular season, but they got bigger things going on. What I am concerned about is they really no-showed in game one. They were not dominated by any stretch, and we'll talk about that. But they did not play well, and they're going to need to here. They're taking on a Seattle Kraken team, 46-28-8. and eight. Road Warriors, 26-11-4 on the road. Very, very impressive. All credit to them. They're a young team, obviously, a new team, and they've come out ready to play. Let's talk about game one. 3-1, to one, the Kraken won the game. Again, impressive. You dig into the numbers, I'm not saying it's not as impressive, but it wasn't a, a beatdown of epic proportions. The Avs actually outshot them, 35 shots in game one, just couldn't convert. They were 0-2 on the power play. They really not dominated at the dot, but they did win the faceoff battle nearly upwards of 55 56%. Just couldn't really convert. Didn't force a lot, only one takeaway, 12 giveaways. It was just sloppy. It was not Colorado uh, offense, no doubt about it. McKinnon had seven shots in the game. Couldn't get a ton going. McCarr wasn't a factor uh, as much as he could be. It's a simple way of saying, a roundabout way of saying, I'm not worried. This is an experienced, deep, good team. Yeah, could they use Landeskog and some of the guys that are hurt? Of course. Colorado's going to respond tonight. They're on their home ice. We've seen this. These are long series. I'm not panicked. They're not panicked. I look for them to do a lot of what they did in game one and just clean it up a little. And they got pucks to the net. 35 shots is not the problem. Be better on the power play. They were good at the killing power plays because the Kraken didn't have any success either. But Colorado, obviously, is a high-octane offense. They've got some elite playmakers, and they're in their building where they're always very, very strong. This is a big, high-stakes game. I look at this. They're clearly the favorites. Look at the board. You see minus 225. Maybe you go parlay piece. I didn't want to lay the goal and a half, even though you should have empty net equity. For me, minus 135 is a good 60-minute line. I shopped it around. I saw minus 150. I saw minus 145. Minus 135 here at DraftKings. I'm comfortable with that number. I think that Colorado will rebound and show that this is going to be a long series. Uh, Seattle's not going to come in and win two straight games and take it to their ice. I don't see that happening, and I see the majority, the large majority of Colorado victories coming in regulation. So we've got that going on here. Give me the Colorado Avalanche in regulation tonight. Now, as I like to always say, bets are updated. If you want more bets from the ice to the diamond to the hardwood to the cage, the octagon, why not? Odd Chopper Premium has got you covered. Again, this updates in real time. You see the values. You see the bet percentages. You see the books. You see the lines. You see all of it. You can get this information completely free for a week and just access your free trial. You get one for seven days, all inclusive, all these tools, the parlay builder, prize picks, whatever you're looking for, we've got on Odd Shopper Premium. Again, we're adding tools quickly. We're building out this infrastructure. We want you guys along for the ride. So make sure to get that free trial. Again, no strings attached, zero risks to you. Check it out, see what you think. But in the meantime, 
Let's cash this ticket with the Colorado Avalanche. I'm going to bounce on out of here. As always, appreciate you guys. All the support means the world to me. At JazzRazDFS. If you have any questions on Twitter, Avalanche, get it done tonight in Game 2. Good luck. Enjoy. Talk to you guys tomorrow.